Alright, <laughs> next up is Tam Polzer. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, awesome. She's a regular to words in line. Awesome. Alright, did you throw your name on there? You already have. Awesome. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hello everyone. This first one is from my new book out on Amazon. It's called Pathways to Epiphanies. It's a collection of short stories that have characters that are, well, on their whatever pathway they're on, they have an epiphany. Mm -hmm. This first one is really short. And it's called First Light. Last night, she told him to leave. Said she was sick of the monotony. Said she was done with feeling stifled, stiff, less than, dead. He left, head down, saying, everyone said we were perfect for each other. Said my steadiness calmed your capricious addictions. Said your spontaneity dug me out of my depression. Well, perfect isn't perfect, she said. Perfect isn't real. Having no wheels and nowhere to go, he sat outside on her porch, filled with darkness, empty. He waited until first light until he heard the birds, somehow triggered by the mer <coughs> melodious mantras and shrill shouts, he revealed himself, as did the sun peeking through the cloud. Releasing a rant from songbird highs to morning dove lows, dry eyes to wet, laughter to moans, his emotions flew and nested, filled and emptied him allowing space for him to be still enough to hear gracious guidance in the silence. Mm -hmm. She watched from the window, amazed, appreciating his vulnerability, his new reality. She opened the door and pulled him in, fluidly wrapping herself around him, limber at last, feeling alive. For a moment, he embraced the moment, comforted, then carefully, he unwrapped himself from her clutch, said, thank you very much, and walked out the door, down the drive, and toward the eastern sky. Mm -hmm. This one also has the phrase, guidance in the silence. Mm -hmm. It was a poem called Guidance in the Silence. Feeling the heaviness, tenderness, silent slivers of brokenness, swelling in layers surrounding my heart, and feeling the need to heave the swollen silence in the song, to belong to the flow that knowingly washes away what hurts, creates space healing, rejuvenates. I ask for the Holy Spirit to heal my holy instinct, to be in charge, to lead so I can follow, to transform illusions haunting me into truth, love, and light, to retrain my brain and remind me that I, too, can thrive. And I wait, and I wait. And I pray for guidance in the silence and guidance.